Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock. It's time for a. Uh, it's time for another video. And today, I'm going to be doing another top ten list. These are always really popular. And today, I'm going to be doing a top ten list. And this was a request from somebody who asked a question on the q and I thought it was a really great question, so I put the list together for you guys. It is a top 10 list of the 10 best Sharpie tricks of all time. In my opinion, the 10 best Sharpie tricks of all time. Now, what do I mean by a Sharpie trick? I'm basically talking about a trick that uses a Sharpie. Now, here's the thing. Um, it could be using a Sharpie in one of two or three different ways. So it could be that the actual trick takes place with a Sharpie. So later on, I'm going to be talking about Remarkable. Remarkable is a perfect example of a trick that takes place with a Sharpie. Because uh, what, what happens is you have the Sharpie and the ink changes into a selected playing card. That's a perfect example of a trick that takes place with a Sharpie. Um, uh, another way that a, a Sharpie can be used is if the Sharpie is used, but it's not really used in a way that the audience knows that the Sharpie is part of the trick. So a perfect example of that is um, uh, uh, Double Cross. Double Cross is a perfect example because the, the Sharpie is needed in order to do the trick but they're not aware that the Sharpie is actually part of the trick. And the other way is when you're just using the lid of the Sharpie to do something secret. And another example of that is Coinvexed by uh, David Penn, where the lid of the Sharpie is being used to accomplish some sort of magic. So there's lots of different versions of, of, of routines in here and lots of different versions of tricks. I went through tons of different stuff. I spent a long time putting this list together. And this, in my opinion, are the 10 best Sharpie tricks of all time. If you don't do tricks or magic with a Sharpie marker, this is what I think should be the 10 tricks that you do. Now, I actually ended up with about 50 or 60 different routines. I had to eliminate a lot in order to get to this top 10 list. So if you'd like to see another list of 10 more Sharpie tricks that I think are really awesome, I can do that again in the future. But for now, this is your top 10 list of the 10 best tricks you using Sharpies of all time. Let's break it down and get into this, starting with number 10. So in 10th position, we have Attire by Roddy McGee and Danny Weiser. Attire by Roddy McGee and Danny Weiser. And this is flown under the radar. This is a few years old now. And I think a lot of people didn't uh, pick this up at the time. I don't see many people talking about this. It's still in stock. You can still get it from all good magic dealers. Attire basically is uh, a t-shirt that you wear. And it's got like a fake pocket. You know, those t-shirts that have got a fake pocket. And it's got a little Sharpie marker sticking out the pocket that's blatantly right there on the fabric of the t-shirt. So you start off by doing whatever favorite card routine you want to do. And when you get to a point where you go, hang on a minute, I need you to sign the card. You reach up and you take the Sharpie marker off the t-shirt. It becomes into a real Sharpie, which you then hand to somebody so they can then sign the card with the Sharpie marker. It looks super incredible. It looks super visual. It really does. And it's a great opening routine. It's a great routine. If you're doing street magic, if you're doing hit and run style magic, why wouldn't you include this, right? The negative of this trick is a lot of people, if they're performing professionally, they're not going to wear a t-shirt like this. They're going to wear a suit and a tie. But if you are in a situation where this t-shirt kind of works for you, this is the perfect opener. I've always been a big believer of if you're a magician, everything should be magic. Why would you take a coin out your pocket where you can make a coin appear by magic? Why would you reach into your pocket and take out a Sharpie marker where you can literally make a Sharpie marker appear from the fabric of the clothes that you are wearing? And, you know, everybody, adults and kids, they've always had a fascination, I, I found at any rate, of ink coming to life. And this is a perfect example of a really incredible routine. And when you look at the two people that have created this, Danny Weiser and... Um, and uh, Danny Weiser and Roddy McGee, forgot his name for a minute there, Danny Weiser and Roddy McGee, when you look at these two guys, they're two really creative powerhouses, two people I've interviewed on Magic TV, both of which have other Sharpie tricks that haven't made this list for a variety of different reasons. Roddy's done a whole bunch of different ones, including that one where the Sharpie goes through the box and the lid comes out, at the pointer bit comes out at the other end of the box. That looks insane, but that didn't make this list. Um, Danny has that pen that turns into the Sharpie uh, balloon model dog thing, which again looked great, but this hasn't, that hasn't made the list as well. You've got two creative powerhouses and you get them together, this is what you get. If you haven't got a tire, 
Um, this is a really fun routine to do with the Sharpie and a great opening routine. So that's number 10. Let's have a look now at number nine. In number nine, you have Super Sharpie by Magic Smith. Now, why Super Sharpie? Well, basically, Super Sharpie is what I think is the best thumb thumb writer, boon writer, nail writer, whatever you want to call it. It's the best thumb writer that I've ever seen. Now, you can get a mini version, which hangs on the keychain, or you can get a big version. Um, either is absolutely fine. It just depends on uh, what's best for you. But the idea is, in many ways, it works a little bit like double cross. The problem with a lot of thumb writers and a lot of ink writers, or uh, sorry, uh, nail writers, is that when you're doing the secret writing, it's in pencil because it's lead. That's how it has to work, right? Uh, with the Super Sharpie, it works a bit like double cross. So the end comes off and sticks to your thumb with uh, with putty. And because it's sticking there, it's very easy to write anything, but it actually self inks. So you're writing your prediction in real Sharpie ink, which looks amazing. Um, and and it, it really is a very natural thing to do. So you take out your pen, you take out a piece of paper or a business card, you write something down on it, you put the pen away, you hold a business card here, you ask somebody to name like a two digit number or something. When you turn it round, it's matched exactly. You take the pen, you put the pen away, and as you do, you reset it ready to go again. It's one of the most organic and, and easiest to use nail writers I've ever seen. You don't even need long nails. And as well as that, the fact that you're writing in ink is a massive bonus. So I do The Mind Reading Goose by Steve Spill which is an incredible comedy routine for stage workers. And there's a moment there where you have to use a thumb writer. And I stopped using uh, the thumb writer that came with the Mind Reading Goose by Steve uh, Spill and Bob Kohler. And I switched to a mini Super Sharpie um, because it just was a better thing to use, to be perfectly honest. It worked better for me than what came with the actual set. Um, that's how much I love this. So the Super Sharpie is great. And again, it's flown under the radar a little bit. It's like the estranged second cousin to the... Uh, uh, to the double cross, but um, it's great. If you do th uh, nail writing or thumb writing or anything like that, and you want a really great, reliable, easy, organic way to do it, the Super Sharpie is the way to go. Uh, it's killer. And um, if you don't know what nail writing is, by the way, it's the act of writing something secretly by having something stuck onto your thumb. In this case, you've got uh, you've got you've got um, uh, a little mini Sharpie uh, inked. Uh, <laughs> nib, which which is just incredible, really, when you think about it. So that's ninth position. That's the ninth best uh, Sharpie trick of all time. Let's move on to number eight. In eighth position, this is uh, kind of a... I, I undenied about whether to include this in the list. I decided to include it because I use it all the time. It's the right, no right Sharpie uh, by uh, Wayne Dobson, and I believe it was made by Alan Wong. Now, what is the right, no right Sharpie? And again, this is one that's kind of flown under people's radar. The right, no right Sharpie is a Sharpie. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to write with the Sharpie. But anytime you want to, you can have it so that the ink um, changes so that when you write, nothing comes out. Now, I do a bunch of routines. Anybody that's aware of my work knows that I do a whole bunch of routines that involve the principle of having um, uh, no, um, sorry, <laughs> it involves the principle of having no ink writing when you actually think that you're writing something down, right? And there's two ways traditionally to do this. Now, the first way is to pretend you're writing, but you're not really, which looks okay, but it never looks brilliant. And the other way is to get a dried out Sharpie and write with the dried out Sharpie. Now, that's absolutely fine, but it generally involves switching the pen for a regular Sharpie and then switching it back again. Because the way to, depending on the routine, the way to make this really deceptive is to use the pen to write something and then later on use it to apparently write something but really you're not. Um, and, and in order to do that, you need to switch the pen until now. Now, Wayne has got this uh, right, no right Sharpie and it's amazing. You can just carry one Sharpie around with you. You can hand it out to people. They can use it to sign their cards or whatever it is that you want to use it for. But anytime you want, you can have that set so that you can use it to apparently write something down but you're not. Uh, you know, the classic thing that a lot of people use this for is a, is a magazine test. You can have a page of a magazine and you can take a pen and you can uh, open the magazine somewhere in the middle and then you can circle a word 
in, in on one of the pages and then all you have to do is uh, is take out the right now and you do that before as the prep you take out the right no right sharpie you take out a magazine you flick through it and uh, you say hey i just want to make sure that you know that i'm not switching this uh this uh, this uh magazine can you write your name on there for me so you give them the pen they write their name on there so they know it's a real sharpie and you go brilliant uh now just say stop and you force the uh you force the page that you've preset and you say, great, take that pen and just draw a circle somewhere on that page. And they do. And you say, very good. Have a look at that word. I'm going to close it up. And, and in the action of them taking the pen back, you've set it. So now when they draw the circle, there's absolutely nothing being drawn. So you force them onto apparently a random word. This is just a great thing. Nobody even knows the sharp is in play. Nobody even knows that anything's happening with it. But it's got this devious secret that is just simply brilliant. So that's the right, no right sharpie. It's a really great tool to use. And it comes in number eight in our list of the 10 best sharpie tricks of all time. In number seven, now this is an older item, but it's still available. You can still get it. It's OmniPen by World Magic Shop. Now, OmniPen by World Magic Shop, it had a bunch of people involved in this project, including myself. So I put on there um, a Sharpie manipulation routine where a Sharpie disappears, appears, appears behind your ear, goes behind the, a bunch of different stuff, goes behind the spectator's ear, goes underneath their elbow, goes underneath their armpit, uh, the, 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 tons of different stuff. And I structured the whole routine so at the end, the Sharpie became crystal clear because that's what you're getting with this product, basically. You're getting an Omni Sharpie, so you're getting a see-through Sharpie. Looks just like a normal Sharpie, but it's completely see-through. You get a little label to put on there as well, so it's even got the word Sharpie on there. But basically, that's what you're getting. You're getting a Sharpie marker that is, in actual fact, a see-through Sharpie marker. Now, I still, to this day, use this all of the time. It's a great ending to a pen manipulation routine. I do a lot of pen manipulation routines in between having people sign cards because as I mentioned earlier on, I think as a magician, we need to um, fill every single moment uh, with magic. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I mean by that is um, I see a lot of people when they're doing sign card tricks and say, here, I'll take the pen and sign the card. Silence until they take the pen back and then they move into it. Uh, they move into the routine and it's kind of they haven't built any magical moments into the silence in between um, the various different tricks that they're doing or in between the dead points in the tricks. And I think that's something that we really need to think of. So uh, the Omni Sharpie is a great thing to use at this point, because what you can do is you can take out a Sharpie mark and you say, hey, I need you to sign this uh, and then go into a pen manipulation routine, which looks super visual, finish off with a see through Sharpie and you go, well, I've got no idea what happened there. Can you sign your name? It doesn't write. Don't worry, I've got another one right with that one. And then you're showing this around. Can you believe this? Look at this. How did that happen? Anyway, have you signed it? Yep. let's move on. So it's a perfect use for that. But um, Spencer had a great use for it on the uh, on, on, on the project on the DVD with it as well. He's got an incredible ambitious card that finishes with an Omni deck, but the spectator's being given the pen to tap the um, deck. And that's what makes the card come to the top. Every time they tap the deck, that's when the card comes to the top. And he's got this whole routine that's structured. At the end, the entire deck turns into a glass block and we know how powerful that is, right? But then you say, well, I understand how the deck turns into a glass block, but look at the pen. And they've been holding the pen the whole time. And when they look back at the pen, now the pen is see-through as well. Uh, it's a really killer strong moment. And I've done that many, many times and it knocks the socks off the audience. It actually takes the Omni deck and takes it to the next level and then some. So if you're planning on using an Omni deck at all, this is a great tool to have. It's a fantastic ending to any Sharpie routine and there's so many different things you can do with it. So there you go. Uh, that's your next trick. That's number seven. It's Omni, uh, I think it's called Omni Pen. Um, and it's available from World Magic Shop. It went into dealers. It is available still. I've checked on Penguin Magic. It's available there. So you can get it. It's called Omni Pen. In sixth place, we have the Sharpie Through Card by Alakazam. So the Sharpie Through Card, I think, was a, uh, a game changer. I, again... Here's the thing, right? This isn't technically a Sharpie trick. I'm kind of cheating a little bit here because the gimmick is actually a playing card. The gimmick is not the Sharpie. Uh, 
However, I think this is one of the best Sharpie penetrations. I've seen Sharpie through Bill, and that's absolutely fine, and the really well-made didn't make this list. What has made this list is the Sharpie through card, because from the audience's point of view, it's the Sharpie that's doing the magic, not the card. So in effect, what actually happens with the Sharpie through card is you've got a regular deck of cards, someone picks a card. They sign their name on it, you take the card, you take the Sharpie marker, you push the Sharpie marker right through the card, it drops all the way through, and then you give them the card back as a souvenir and they can look at it or you can go into your favorite ambitious card routine or whatever you want to do i love that because and i've talked about this before i really do believe that if you if you are performing commercially you need to do something that captures people's attention you want people to have uh, a moment where they feel that there's like a real big difference that's uh, uh, you know that compared to other magicians that they've seen so if you kind of go into it with pick a card any card put the card in the middle oh my god it's come back to the top of the pack that's not as good as doing something else so this is a perfect example you go hey this is not a card trick i'm gonna show you a trick but it's not a card trick use this back of cards it's not a card trick it's a trick with a sharpie marker can you take that sharpie marker great now take a card it's not a card trick but take a card write your name on the face of it i can see it it doesn't matter whether i see it because it's not a card trick it's a trick with a sharpie marker have you ever seen david copperfield walk through the great wall of china well i'm going to try and do that with this pen and this card, watch this, boom, into the spectator's hands. You hand the card out for examination. You've got in the first minute of your performance, you've done something insanely visual that they didn't see coming. You've established credibility. You've done something that happens in the spectator's hands. And now you're set for the rest of the performance. So although it's not technically a Sharpie trick, I, I kind of think of it as a trick that involves a Sharpie. So I'm allowing it on this list and it is as far as i'm aware the best sharpie penetration that i've seen um so yeah that's the next one it's it's the sharpie through card the card is very well made um you can get them in red backed and in blue back rider back cards and the nice thing is it's one gimmick card the add to the top of the deck and then you can just get rid of it either by palming it or taking the jokers out and you're left with a regular deck of cards and just by throwing that card back on top of the deck you're reset ready to go again so there's a lot to love about this it's called the sharpie through card it's an alakazam trick you can get it from alakazam it's really good now in fifth place i have a feeling this is going to be a controversial one and i think a lot of people will say that i should have put this a lot higher remember it's only my opinion it's my list maybe a few years ago no definitely a few years ago this would have got a lot higher than fifth place but it's not it's now in fifth place it's double cross by magic smith now, i don't do double cross anymore um there was a period of time where i was doing it at every single group and this probably would have been first or second on the list now not so much and the reason i don't do it is because it's been done to death um i you know when i started going to uh events and people were going all oh, right is that the one where you, you take a sharpie out and they go oh is that the one where you draw a cross on your hand you know that you've got to rest the trick for a while now um i now do lux and i know some people love lux and some people hate lux but it has that same feel to it but it doesn't feel like the same trick because it's not it's a completely different method and it looks completely different but what we have here is we have um uh, in essence, what, what it is, I'm sure everyone knows double cross, but you have a cross drawn in your hand, you have another cross drawn, you have, well, no, you have a cross drawn on your hand, they have nothing in their hand, and you make the cross vanish from your hand and go into their hand. It's strong, it's direct, it's powerful, the magic happens in the hands of the spectators, people don't see it coming. It is an absolute classic of magic, it is very, very strong, it ticks a lot of boxes. First of all, the magic happens in the spectators' hands. Second of all, it's very easy to do. The thing that I really like about it and i've always really liked about double cross is there's a massive disconnect between the perceived moment of magic and the actual moment of magic what do i mean well the perceived moment of magic is when the magic actually happens that moment is when they open their hand and they realize the x is there the perceived moment of magic is when the uh, is is when the magic actually happens the move happens there is such a massive difference in terms of time between the perceived moment of magic and the actual moment of magic that's what makes this trick so strong the time misdirection between doing the move 
and showing them that the trick has actually happened. Um, and that's one of the reasons it's so strong. I would imagine that every close-up magician around the world has either done this, they have it in their act, they own one. I think it's a very popular trick. I'm not currently doing it because I think it's been overdone. Maybe I'll come back to it in a few years' time when it's been rested a little bit. But as it stands, um, it's still a fantastic routine. If you've never seen it before, and if you like the sound of that effect, it really is that strong and that direct and that powerful. It's called Super Sharp. Sharpie, and you adopt lots of different versions now. You've got Super Sharpie Heart Edition. You've got Super Sharpie um, Jumbo Edition. There's loads of different versions, but um, it has become a classic of magic. So there you go, Super Sharpie. Um, you can get that from all good magic dealers. Okay, so we mentioned this right at the very beginning of the video, but in fourth position, we have Coinvex 2 by uh, David Penn and World Magic Shop. Now, for my money, in my opinion, and it's only my opinion, but in my opinion, I think that uh, Coinvex, and specifically Coinvex 2 or Coinvex 3, either one, um, is the best metal bending trick you will ever see. It's better than liquid metal. It's better than anything. It is an incredible metal bending trick. Now, if you don't know what it is, the idea is very simple. You borrow a couple of coins. You have them signed. One of them is signed. One of them you draw a picture on. You take them back. You put them into the spectator's hands. You have them pick one. That coin then bends in their hand. The bend is done in real time. They really are the same sign borrowed coins. There's no switches and you're doing the bend in front of the audience and everything is accomplished with a uh, specially designed um, cap for a Sharpie. And the construction of this routine is absolutely genius. Now, I have done many metal bending routines in the past, many coin bending routines. I've played around with the ox bender. I've played around for many, many years. I did the Terminator wallet. I bet you guys don't remember that. Uh, the Terminator wallet was by Paul Wilson. It was very cool. The idea is that you had a coin signed and you had one of those billfold style wallets and you put the coin in your hand once they'd signed it and you put the wallet onto your hand to take out a uh, a note right and as you open it up to take out the note it bends the coin in your hand you then take out the note and you put the wallet away and the coin has been bent that was great i did that for a long time this is cleaner um, it's, it's cleaner than the quantum bender. It's cleaner than every bender I've ever seen because literally it doesn't feel like there's anything else in play. Literally all that happens is you take the coin, it's bent, nobody realizes, and then it's put into the spectator's hand. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful routine that I love. I really love this trick. And um, I perform it still to this day. I still perform it. Less and less people do coin bending. I think also less and less people have money on them. But the nice thing about this is all I have to do is have a couple of regular Sharpie markers in my pocket and I can go into this any time that I want to. If I just have two Sharpie markers in my pocket, I am good to go. I can ask people if they've got a coin. Not everyone has coins these days, but if people have coins in their pocket, I can have a couple of coins taken out and I can do this. And it is an absolute reputation maker. I have performed this routine and people have come back to me years later and said, oh my God, I still remember the trick that you, you did where you bent the coin. Uh, it's possibly David Penn's best trick. And this is a guy that has created a lot of incredible magic. And yet still, I think this is the best trick that David Penn has ever created. Coinvex two coinvex three take your pick they're both amazing um they are available through world magic shop they have their own website uh they were in other dealers i don't know if they still are but you can definitely get them from world magic shop so there you go that's coinvex two stroke three by david penn uh, a perfect example of using the cap of a pen as opposed to the actual pen secretly the routining and you really learn so much from watching dave's routine but the way that the sharp is brought into play in a very natural way and then brought out of play in a very natural way so that nobody suspects or detects anything has happened it's genius routining by an incredible magician um so there you go that's coinvex uh, coinvex by david penn let's move on to the top three Okay, in third place, we're into the top three now. In third place. And this is very new out. In fact, it's so new, I haven't had time to review it yet. Uh, but I will be reviewing it soon on a future Craig and Ryan review show. This is uh, by Seth Race. 
and this is called scar tissue. Now, Seth Race is an absolute genius as far as I'm concerned. I was so proud of being involved in Seth's um, um, uh, flip balm project and, and being allowed to be on that project was an absolute honor uh, because I, it, it is one of my number one ETCs, it really is. Um, I carry it with me everywhere. Um, and I've been working with Seth on another project, which will be seeing the light of day in the next few months. And and it's another incredible Seth Race creation um, that I've been lucky enough to work on. And it's as good as, if not better than Flip Bar. But I digress. This is about uh, scar tissue. Scar tissue for me is the best blister effect that I've ever seen. Uh, my issue with the blister effect has always been going into the pocket. Now, Jason Poulter has to be given recognition here for creating what I think was at the time a massive leap forward in the technology when it comes to the blister effect. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, however, times move on. And for, a, a, you know, I've never liked that putting your hand in your pocket thing. It's why I never did uh, Jason's version of the, of the blister effect. Um, the one that I ended up settling on for quite a while was Tim Trono's Branded. Branded by Tim Trono was, um, was great. It really was. Uh, because the gimmick was built into a lighter. And the lighter is something that you need on you in order to do the trick. So it kind of made sense, right? Um, uh, because you're going to have a lighter. But the, the negative was you couldn't get every card. Well, what um, Seth has done with, with scar tissue is he's built it into a Sharpie cap. Now, in this, this works in the similar way to Coinvex 2, in that the Sharpie cap is doing everything, but the audience isn't even aware that the Sharpie has anything to do with the trick. So it's a surreptitious use of the Sharpie marker, or specifically the lid of the Sharpie. And I feel comfortable telling you guys this, because if you go look at the trailer for Scar Tissue, you kind of see an expose of exactly how the trick works. The nice thing is Seth has developed this cap, which works like a charm, by the way, but it's developed this cap so it'll work anytime, anywhere, with pretty with any card. Um, and it's very, very strong. You literally, without going too much into the routine, um, you have them think of a card, you burn your fingers, and you've got a blister on there. Um, it is absolutely the best version of the blister effect. And it's a perfect example of, if you think out the box and you're creative like Seth is, just how much you can accomplish by a secret use of a Sharpie cap. And this is a perfect example. So uh, your third place uh, is available now from Penguin Magic. It's called Scar Tissue by Seth Brace, and it's really good. Okay, so in second place, um, I'm going to talk about Remarkable by Richard Sanders. Now, Remarkable, there's been other versions of this throughout the years. Remarkable is basically a Sharpie marker with a card revelation on it. Now, there's tons of these. You can get a bunch of them. Steve Rowe has done versions of this. Many different people have done versions of this. It's a, a card revelation on a Sharpie. What, what Richard did, which really took it to the next level, in my opinion, was uh, have two Sharpie markers. So one Sharpie marker has Sharpie on one side and it has a card revelation on, on the other side. So you can bring it out and you can, you can paddle it and show that it's got Sharpie on both sides and then shake it and the one Sharpie logo changes into the name of the uh, selected card. You can then put that away and then have a, a second person's picked a card. And you go, oh, sorry, you've got a card as well. Take the pen back out again. The second pen has got the same revelation on one side. But on the other side, it's got a different, uh, it's got a different card. So now you can show that both sides don't say Sharpie anymore. They say whatever the card was. King of Hearts, for example. And then you rub the one King of Hearts and it turns into, say, two of clubs. And now you've got King of Hearts and two of clubs and you can hand it out for examination. So by doing a pen switch, which was a perfectly natural motion and moment to do a pen switch, you get a double revelation. And this is a really strong opening routine. This is a really strong routine to open up. And for many, many years I've done this. Now I'll tell you how much I like Remarkable. When Richard Sanders put out an email saying, hey, you can buy Remarkable Sharpies, really discounted prices. 
I must have bought about 40 of him. Like I bought a ton because I always wanted to be with my Revelation Sharpie, uh, my Remarkable Sharpies. And I do this a lot. I love this trick. As I say, it makes a great opener. It establishes credibility. I just, I just say, hey, this is not a card trick, but I'm going to get both of you to pick a card. Don't tell me what the card is. Put it back in there. Fantastic. Oh, by the way, I'm going to take this pen. I'm going to boom, 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 boom. I'm going to do this. I even do it in between performances. So what I mean is, let's say I'm doing an ambitious card. I'll have someone pick a card. I'll hand them the gimmick Sharpie. And I'll get them to sign the card. While they're doing that, I'll get two other people to pick cards. And uh, I'll say, great, have you done that yet? You hold on to the deck. You hold on to your signed card. Give me the Sharpie back. Remember your card. Yeah, boom. Look, that changes into your card. Oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? Oh, you picked a card, didn't you? Watch this. It's this on both sides. Boom, now that one changes. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, you picked a card. Put it back in the deck. And now I'm into it. And it's about maximizing those dead moments to make them really, really interesting. It's something I'm really I'm really passionate about that because I see so many entertainers and there's so many dead spots. I actually really like it when there's no dead spots, so I try to fill it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so that's um, uh, so that's Remarkable by Richard Sanders. You can still get them. Uh, you can get them directly from Richard. But if you can't find them, there's lots of other uh, Sharpie manufacturers that do, uh, you know, look at Steve Rowe. Steve Rowe's got a whole bunch of them and a bunch of other people have as well. Alakazam have uh, one called Smudged, where it's not an actual change, but the ink smudges and you get a card revelation. Lots of different versions, but uh, they're all good in their own way. But now we're going to move on to the best, in my opinion, the best Sharpie trick of all time. Okay, so number one, the best Sharpie trick of all time. I'm always organized when I do these lists. The number one best Sharpie trick of all time. And I know that there's going to be people that are going to be sitting here watching this going, Craig's biased. And, and yes, I am. I am biased. I'm 100% biased. But I think that the best Sharpie trick of all time is Chop by myself. Now, the reason I'm biased is because I, all of the tricks on this list I perform or have performed at some point. But Chop for the last 15 years, has been in my act, and I do it all of the time. I've done it in kid shows, restaurants, walk around, strolling, close up, um, table magic, parlor, competition act. Um, you know, when I was booked earlier this year to do the rendezvous uh, uh, in Paris, the rendezvous uh, convention in Paris, and they asked me to do 20 minutes on the close up gala show, I did chop to close that act. I love chop. Now, people are going to say, well, hang on, like I say, you're biased. Here's the thing. I have to believe in myself. Every time I bring out a product, I believe in it. If I don't believe in my product, how can I expect anybody else to buy into and believe in that product either? So I believe in my products absolutely 110%. I believe in every single trick that I've ever put out. And chop, I think, is one of the best tricks that I've ever created. So what is chop? Well, basically, it's a way of doing an impromptu chop cup. And I'm exposing the method here because the gimmick is in the Sharpie. Normally, with a chop cup, it's a specially designed cup with a magnet in the bottom that holds a magnetic ball. Shop, chop, that's not the case. You can use any cup, a styrofoam cup, a cardboard cup, a coffee cup, anything that you want to, uh, you know, like a, uh, a just a normal china cup. It doesn't really matter. You can even use a glass. And what it will allow you to do, it will allow you to do a chop cup routine using th that borrowed cup and you borrow the bill as well. So you can borrow a bill, you can roll it up into a ball and you can drop the ball down on the table. You can borrow a cup and you can have the gimmick with you. And now you're set to do a multi-phase chop cup routine with a borrowed cup and a borrowed bill using the pen as a magic wand. And the pen was brought into play to get them to sign the bill, but now you can use it as a magic wand. And there's multiple different methods for using it and techniques and different ways of using it. So you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And there's a lot of things that you can do with chop that you can't do with a normal sharp, a normal chop cup. So you can put a ball down on the table, cover it up and it goes and you can show the inside of the cup empty. You can literally have them drop a ball into the cup and then you can show that it's empty. You can control the drop of the ball. So they put their hand out and you put the cup on their hand and it will not drop until they say go, which means the whole thing can be done walk around. And then we can bind it with bin and lemon. So for the finale, a lemon appears underneath the cup. And then when they cut open the lemon, inside is the bill. Um, the bill that they signed. So it, it has a really nice finale as well. And I've done this so many different ways in so many different routines, so many different methods. I love chop. I really do. And on the new one, 
one that I bought out with uh, Penguin Magic in 2022, I went through lots of other uses of Chop as well, including as a mystery card, mentalism, peak devices, coins across, loads of different ways that you can actually use it. And the beautiful thing is, all you need to do this routine is just have the Chop Sharpie, along with a little thing that's on the side of it, into your top pocket. You don't have to do a Bill and Lemon finale if you don't want to. Yes, if you want to do the Bill and Lemon finale, the lemon has to be prepared. But if you don't want to do a Bill and Lemon finale, a lot of the time I just have my AirPods always in my pocket and I'll just load my AirPods in as a finale and then just give them the bill back that vanishes and goes into my pocket or whatever. And the point is, with, with just a Sharpie on you and something as a final load, you can go into chop, a chop cup style routine, anytime, anywhere. It's why I think this is the best Sharpie check ever created. And the beautiful thing is the audience don't even realize the Sharpie has anything to do with it. Um, so yeah, it's been in my repertoire for 15 years. I love it. I think it's the best Sharpie trick of all time. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. You can let me know in the comments down below. But that's the top 10 best Sharpie tricks ever. So there you go, guys. That's another video in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to know what you think. Now, don't forget, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. Uh, and don't forget, if you want to join the Netrix, please do so. Go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. We're just uploading five new tricks at time of filming i'm um, uploaded it's probably up by now uh five new tricks to the net tricks five new tricks of mine on the net tricks that i've been holding on to for the last year including a killer cards across and the best impromptu napkin trick you'll ever see i'm so excited about the next upload i'm so excited i think you guys are gonna love it and we're dropping this week my uh ultimate guide to uh, getting wedding bookings as well for the silver level subscribers but thanks once again for joining me i will see you again soon my name's craig from magic tv mm.